to vlogmas so today i'm just going to be taking you through my day um i'm just getting ready right now i'm about to put some makeup on and um when i'm doing my makeup i either like to listen to a podcast or watch a youtube video and i think i'm going to do a youtube video today um i need to catch up on julia and hunter their vlogmas they're like my favorite ever so i'm gonna watch their vlogmas from yesterday get ready and then I um, need to finish filming a video I have in the process right now. It's my tanning routine. And then later on today, Sadie has a grooming appointment. She's going to get a bath. And I really hope that her they have her vaccination records because she won't be able to go if they don't. Um, so yeah, that's kind of what's on the agenda for today. I'm just going to kind of take you through. We're going to do a little day in life. So I'm going to go ahead and speed you guys up, get ready. And yeah, that's what we're doing. If you're curious about this makeup, it's literally the makeup I do in every other video. So I will link a tutorial for you down below. I'm also just burning a little incense. This one is from, oh, I forget what that store is called, Earthbound. And it's like in my mall. Um, I'm pretty sure they're everywhere, but I just get them. And this one is called China Rain, and it's literally so good. It's like the most relaxing, like delicious smell. And I like to do that when I'm getting ready. It's like very calming. I also have one called Zen. And then in the kitchen, um, I have one called, La like it's lavender and that one's really good too. So I have to do that. It just relaxes me. I like to do it in the morning and at night or like if I'm taking a bath or something. So yep, I'm gonna go ahead and get started. ourselves like we've always done that since she was little but lately little miss thing over here is not having it she's not having it and she like knows if she screams we feel so bad and like we'll stop and we've literally tested it out to where like we'll just touch it with our finger and she thinks it's like the clipper yeah I'm talking about you and she will go ah! and it just it breaks my heart and I can't do it so I'm just gonna pay someone else to do it and um she's gonna get her christmas bath while she's there because she usually gets bath before christmas because she sees like both of our families so yeah you're gonna get your christmas bath today um and then they just opened up a dunkin donuts we never have had a dunkin where um we live and they just opened one up so i'm gonna go and see if it's good um see if they have a little oat milk latte little iced oat milk latte for me um, and see if it's good because I tried that somewhere else and it was absolutely disgusting and it tasted like low main noodles like some gross like greasy noodles that's what it tasted like to me it was not good and I said that to Brad and he was like what like you're making that up like that's the most random thing and he was like uh this is weird and he like agreed with me that that's what it tasted like so hopefully this Duncan is like new and fresh and it's like good so I'm gonna try that out while she's going um, to get her bath and then also we don't have anything for dinner tonight so I'm gonna peruse her on fresh time to see if I can find anything so yeah that's what's up right now 
that's what we're on our way to do. Belle, what do you think? Do you want to go bye bye? Are we bye bye? Do you want to go inside? Yes? Okay. Let's go. Guys, I dropped Sadie off and I went to Starbucks because the Dunkin' line was too long. Come on. And I just got like a double shot with coconut milk. Um, but I did have a meltdown. I called my mom and my grandma and Brad because when I took Sadie in there, so she's been there before multiple times. I'm okay now and I feel better, but let me just tell you guys like what was going through my mind and what happened. So I like take her inside. You guys saw me like walk her in and as soon as we got in there, she was being a little weird. She like didn't want to go in and usually she's fine to go in places. Um, she, I had to like carry her. And then when we got inside, like I was talking to the girls that were in there. They were like really nice. This is at Petco. And like just telling them what she needed. I always tell them to please not blow dry her because bulldogs, like it's hard for them to breathe anyways. And like, I just don't want the risk of her like getting anxious and not being able to breathe with like air blowing in her face. So I say, please don't blow dry her. If you feel like you absolutely have to, please don't do it anywhere close to her face. They said they won't, that it's fine. They won't do that. And they like, of course, take, I took off her collar and they put on the one that they put on the dogs. And I like, Sadie wasn't like really walking. So she was kind of like tugging on her a little bit. And I could see the thing get really tight around her neck. You know, she has a chubby little neck. So I like immediately just reached down, stuck my finger in the uh, collar and like pulled it up and said, can you please carry her? I don't want this tight around her neck. Like I don't want her to be dragged. And she was like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Like, of course, um, of course she said, yes, she picked her up. Sadie jumped out of her arms when I was like talking to the girl. I think it's because I was still there. And so I was like, okay, I'm just going to go. So like, she can't see me. Thank you. They told me it would be like a couple hours and then I turned the corner and I could still see and she didn't pick her back up. She like, I saw her drag her across the tile, like scooting her. And I literally like, I had a mask on, but my jaw like dropped open and I was just, I like was standing there and the lady, the receptionist lady was like, she's okay. Like we just had to get her back here. Like we'll carry her. Like it's fine. And I just like got to my car, like just feeling a little weird about it and just started, like, started crying. And like, I called my grandma because she's had dogs and like has had experience with that. And I was like, I just have a really weird feeling. Like, should I go back in and get her? Like, I do not like how she was handled. I was like sobbing and my grandma told me to go back in. So I went back in and she was fine. Like. I mean, there were other dogs, like, I couldn't see her in the, like, window thing, but, she, like, there were other dogs being groomed, and they were all being treated fine, like, I called Brad, he said it was probably fine, and, like, we just won't take her back there again, but for this time, she's fine, just, like, let her go, she might not be, like, enjoying herself, but he didn't, truly didn't think she was, like, getting hurt, like, I don't think they're, like, abusing her, but, oh, it just really, like, rubbed me the wrong way after I asked her to carry Sadie, that she like was dragging her. I don't know, I just didn't like it. I'm like starting to tear up talking about it because I didn't end up going to get her. So I've just been waiting in my car, like on the phone. And I don't know, like I can see the place right here, like I'm close and I did go back in and like look around. So I'm like, they saw me there. So maybe they know and like, I don't know. I don't know. I just felt really weird about it and that's what's going on. I think she's okay, but I don't know. She'll never go back there. That's for sure. And like those girls are probably like nice people, but you should know how to like, if your job is a dog groomer, you should know how to carry an animal in a way that they're not going to jump down, especially as small as Sadie is. Like I get she's a little heavier, but you should know how to get a dog back there without dragging them. Like, that's ridiculous to me. So, it just made me, like, upset. And, yeah, that's what's going on. So, she should be about done by now. I hope she's okay. I'm sure she is. But I'm at the 
grocery store right now. I'm just going to get some something for dinner. We're just going to have salads. And yeah, I'm just like really kind of pissed to be honest and just like upset. But my gut was telling me that she would be okay and that I just needed to go in and check and that as long as I didn't see anything weird, it would be fine. If my gut was telling me to go in and get her, I would have done that and that's and I feel like I did the right thing, so, yeah. I'm just gonna go in and get a salad. I'm like, I don't know why I'm like crying again. It just like made me really upset, so. Maybe I'm being dramatic, I don't know. I am on my period. <laughs> so yeah, I'll see you guys when she's done. Guys, she's completely fine. I just got so nervous, but you look beautiful. You're just a little hot. You look gorgeous. Mommy, sorry, you never have to go there again, okay? I'm so sorry, okay? We love you. Where are you going? What, baby? <laughs> You're just very good. You're a good girl. You're a little teddy bear. You're a teddy bear. People don't say it enough. You're a good girl. You are the best behaved bulldog. You're a good bulldog. You're a good bulldog, kid. She's just been through so much today. Such a day. Oh, <laughs> baby. She's like, everyone, stop. Oh, no. Oh, goodness. You are so cute and beautiful.